Hello everyone, this is Andre here with Golden Amp. This is my sister, Sophia. Oh, maybe I should not give you your... Sweetly Do you have an Sophia. artist name? Sweetly Sophia. Sweet, okay, Sweetly <laughs> Sophia. Uh, and we are going to be producing Sophia's song. So right now, I'm going to be kind of walking through what I typically do for a production session. We're going to have Sophie go ahead and record the vocals. And then we have her vocals already ready to go, and we can I can start producing the rest of the track. So without further ado, this is your staff. She's just going to do kind of like a semi-acoustic version right now. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you killed it. Thanks. That was awesome. Okay, so now you guys, you guys see, it's a full song. It's already um, done. We did work on the format of the song a little bit the last time, so we polished some things already in regards to lyrics and uh, formatting. So today is just being mainly going to be about musicality and what you want to do, what we want to do with the song. Her performance was so good that she deserves for you to hit the like button. <laughs> so go ahead and hit the That's like button for Sophie's performance. Yes, hit the like, please. Even if you didn't like it, hit the like. <laughs> Come on, show some love, it's okay. <laughs> so go ahead and tell us what the song is about and what your vision for the song is. I do Christian music. Um, so obviously this song is a Christian song. So I mentioned Jesus, and whenever I say you, it's talking, referring to Jesus, referring to God. And I was like in a church worship session, they were playing just chords for like the interlude, interlude of a song. Um, and then it just came to me. So basically the staff part really relates to the story of Moses in the Bible and how Moses led the people through his staff through the Red Sea. This is like a Bible lesson, but he split the seas and then the Israelites were able to escape. But basically it's just about um, how God uses his staff and is able to lead us in that same way, kind of mirroring. So it's um, almost about comfort. Yes. Right? It's yeah. about comforting, knowing and that. guidance. Yeah, exactly. Comfort awesome. in his guidance. Okay, so now musically, what do you where do you think the song, where do you want to take the song? I'm thinking like power ballad. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. But I don't know if that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a thing. Um, do you hear yeah. like ethereal pads in the back? Or do you hear more Explain like acoustic? Explain ethereal, please, for <laughs> me and for our viewers. <laughs> or do you hear more like straightforward acoustic instruments i feel like i hear kind of more straightforward so it's more one of them is is more you know you just do the straight instruments and mm. you kind of more acoustic think more acoustic guitar acoustic piano mm. sounds and kind of more of that or very light electric guitars and very like some pads in the back a lot of reverb a lot of that i don't know what area this would go into but i hear like some strings too in it so not all cool. electric but some more Okay, so a little bit more. Okay, as as I hear this now, it sounds like you're actually gearing more towards a more acoustic mm -hmm. side. Is that true? I think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hear in my mind, but I want to be able to like explain it. I got. Well, that's what the producer's for. <laughs> okay, cool. So as far as the chords, are you set on the chords? Because we worked on the chords mm -hmm. last time. So. Yeah. No, I'm not set on the chords. Okay. Because so. last time, yeah, you mm -hmm. you changed some chords and it sounded so awesome. So I, I'm not really set on the chords. It's just more like the melody that I don't want to 
to get lost. She'll record the track to a metronome with the keys and her singing. I'll just build up from that and I'll show you guys what I do after that and, and the end result. So thank you, Sophie, for your performance. Thank you for letting me perform. It was, it was fun. A little bit nerve wracking, but it was also fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys soon. So far, you've seen the song being presented to you. We already had worked on the format and the lyrics, so now I'm working on the arrangement. So the first thing I did was I just thought about the arrangement. What type of song is it? What do I want to do? The melody is really nice. It's also repetitive, and so I wanted to stay with that melody, but also add a counter melody that it just spices up the song a little bit, which is what I want to try to do. It's a beautiful song, but we're just trying to make it even better. But now that I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, this is what I filled up. The first thing I did was I used a pad. So I used a pad because it's really nice and atmospheric. It's got a nice vibe to it. I used the uh, Anna 2 from Slate, and uh, here it is. We already had the vocals recorded for her song, so it's gonna be easier to fill out with other instruments. You know, MIDI is great, especially if you have really high quality software like Keyscape. Um, some of the pads I have on here are really great, but I also want to add some element of uh, human, uh, that human element. Because of that, I made the pad sound full and just have a little bit of detuning going on so that your ear is not just thinking like, oh, this sounds like a computer, this sounds fake. And then I also chose a piano sound that had a lot of human element to it, which is an upright from Keyscape. This piano is amazing. This is the next thing I did. This is the next thing I added. Here it is. I don't remember where I got this bass patch, but it's uh, really good and I reamp it and do some stuff with it, but this is the basis of it. I want this kind of to be like 80% organic sounding and like 20% ambiance, like modern style sounding. Uh, Cause that's what I hear the song and that's what I also my sister wanted for her song. Now the next thing I did is I added some piano sounds again, but this time just to fill in the melody. These are a lot of uh, reverb sounds. These are, um, they have some, I think they might even have delay, I'm not sure. But they, they're just dreamy sounds. It's just to add the melody line on top. This is what it sounds like. So then I added some electric guitar, it sounds a little bit like this. And I'm bending, I don't have a tremolo, so I'm bending the guitar back and forth, literally just bending it back and forth. It's just a nice little thing, and then I'm also doing some swells. Um, let me play the guitar, is what they sound like. So as you can hear, there are some things that are going a little bit out of tune. I like that personally. I think my sister's gonna like that too. It just adds a little bit more of that human element. It's not perfectly in tune. And since we're using a lot of MIDI instruments and we're using a lot of stuff in the box, I kind of like for that to be a little bit more of a psychedelic sound. We're not going for a psychedelic thing, but I do want to add a little bit of that human element back into it. Now all I have left is to record the acoustic guitars and record background vocals, which I'm going to do and my wife is going to do as well. 
and then we're gonna edit the song and then mix it as well so I'm gonna show you guys what all that entails so now I'm done with the song and this is what the song sounds like If you want a little more in-depth video on what I did with the background vocals or any other part of the song, just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do so.